One of our favorite ways to experience the Napa Valley wine country is by bicycle. Fortunately, biking in the valley is easier and safer than ever on the off-road Napa Valley Vine Trail, which runs from Yountville to Napa. Ready to ride? Let's do the Vine Trail. We start our bike ride in the city of Yountville, which is a charming village, and home to Michelin star restaurants, like the one in the background there, French Laundry. Thomas Killer has several restaurants here, and a nice place to start the day is at the Bouchon Bakery. There's usually a line, but it's worth the wait. Yachtville is a very bike friendly town. bike tours. We have two different locations here in the valley. We have one in the town of Yauntville and one in downtown Napa. Both locations have the same style of bikes. We have um, hybrid style bikes which have 24 speed. They're a specialized alibi model and these bikes have airless tire technology so you never run the risk of getting a flat tire while you're out there which is really great. Um, our bike rentals always include a helmet, a lock, and a mat. In addition to these hybrid style bikes, we have uh, the specialized Como model bike, which is a pedal assist electric bike. It has three different modes of pedal assist, and it can go between 15 to 20 miles per hour, and it has about a 50 mile range on it. These are really great bikes. They've become more and more popular here in the valley. You can cover quite a bit of land. Um, and then we have these uh, tandem cruisers. These are only available from our Yonville location. Um, really fun bikes to tour wine country. And then uh, a lot of our guests love riding on the Vine Trail. Whether you start from the town of Yonville or in downtown Napa, it's a really great multi-use path. Uh, our guests who start here in the town of Yauntville love to pop off and visit properties, winery properties, and experience tasting. We're at the very beginning of the Vine Trail here in Yauntville. You better turn up. If you want to do two wineries and start your day with champagne, Domaine Chandon is a good place to start. We chose not to because, well, we didn't want to go to two wineries. Okay, let's get started. Catch me, baby. There's resting places all along the trail, and there's these interpretive signs that tell you a little bit about nature. At Bouchon Bakery this morning, they had a lot of pastries, but they also had a couple sandwiches. It's a good place to get sandwiches for the trail. You can also take their food to the wineries that allow picnics. We're having ours right here, enjoying the, the vineyards. You want to check it out? Yeah, there's that good sandwich. You better grab that tambourine. Bring a base, we might be wicked. We may be forced to cause a scene. Make some trouble, baby. You can see here that the vine trail crosses a road, but it's just a side road. It's pretty easy.
The Vine Trail has a formal rest station right across from Salinas Winery near Darms Lane on Solano Avenue. The rest station has an outhouse, water, shade, a map, and some bicycle tools, including an air pump. There it is. We made it. There's the Laird family estate, the place where we're going for wine tasting. Now, if you want a carefree biking and wine country experience, when renting a bike from Napa Valley Bike Tours, you can also have them deliver a lunch to the winery of your choice. in Napa Valley are not allowed to serve lunch and that is why they allow you to bring your own food or have a caterer bring it for you. Laird Winery offers a snack tray or a charcuterie board. The cost of wine tasting varies of course but you can expect to pay between $50 and $100 in Napa Valley. Seven on block. No, I don't really have a good taste but supposedly there's pears, peaches, and a little herbal in here. Now this is the Merlot, nose test, and I, yeah, I got it, and uh, do a little taste. Now this is aged in um, some French and some American oak. I can't tell the difference between those two, but I can tell that it's uh, aged in oak. It's really smooth, it's a medium bodied Merlot. This one. Um, so this is our Cold Creek Ranch Chardonnay. And the grapes for this wine are grown in Carneros, which is about 20 minutes southwest of here. Uh, slightly cooler microclimate. Uh, I'm not gonna rinse out this one because this one's a little bit more powerful than the um, Merlot. Oh. Uh, so the, the Cold Creek Chardonnay, 20% uh, of it ages in new French oak barrels, which means that 80% is in neutral oak. So it's not a super oaky style Chardonnay. This Jillian is really smooth. Very smooth. A good That's combination. Smooth. I like it very much so but it's my taste buds it's not too heavy it's flavorful light <laughs> you know what you're looking for right yeah the little drippy drips <laughs> 